And we certainly hope your Sunday's going well outside right now. We'll take a look, first of all, at the, well, that sky cam is not working, so we'll move on past that. And we'll take a look at the other one. And yeah, that's some force general looking good. At William Carey in East Hattiesburg, it's 86 degrees, a little cloud cover out there. We made it up to 88 today, and that's 10 degrees above the average of 78. Low this morning was 54. We should be around 52 this time of year. The record 93 on this day back in 1939 and 27 on this state back in 1952. So get ready. The cold air is starting to come down from Canada and uh, it could, we could have one batch coming around Halloween or shortly thereafter. I'll get in that just one second. Currently, it's in the 80s all across the world. Upper 80s in Brooklyn, mid 80s in Seminary. Uh, it's also mid 80s in Richmond as well as upper 80s in Lumberton, 82 in Waynesboro. On the muggy meter, it feels amazing outside right now. It's not terribly humid. Now that's probably going to stay that way to maybe on Sunday we get a little more humidity in here. It'll be kind of sticky. But that's ahead of a front coming down and uh, that will be in place before the runner front arrives by either Tuesday or Wednesday and that'll be around uh, Halloween. The extreme to exceptional drought continues here in the Pine Belt so please don't be burning anything outdoors anytime soon. Here's the current setup on the weather. High pressures just to the south of the Florida coastline. It's pumping dry and warm air into our state. We're kind of expecting partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies overnight. And we'll show you the forecast overnight. It's not going to get very cool. 59, maybe 60 in some locations, but no rain forecast in the day tomorrow, Monday, to get your day started. Uh, this has mostly cloudy. I think it'll be partly cloudy and mostly sunny tomorrow. Highs mainly in the upper 80s across the board. Now, Tuesday morning, we'll see temperatures in the lower 60s across the area. And during the day on Tuesday, we'll be looking at mostly sunny skies, winds shifting to the southeast like that and we'll see highs mainly in the mid 80s across the board all right here's a look at the future cast for his rain it's from today until next sunday unfortunately it's not painting a drop but you see this rain back here out to the west of us that could come down for us maybe about next week sometime i mean the week after next so we might get some rain now here's our temperature pattern on the 24th still kind of warm here in the south but we watch to the northwest. We see a big pile of cold air developing across the Canadian border getting into the north central states like this. Here it comes to watch this. Now this is on Halloween. The front is just to the northwest of us here. And this is the, uh, the Thursday, uh, pardon me, the Wednesday, November 1st. You see that cold air is knocking at our door here in the Pine Belt. Believe me, this could be some of the coldest ever we've seen so far this season. So get ready. The pattern is going to change around here. And maybe we'll get some rain with it. Overnight, partly cloudy, a little around 59 in the forecast for tomorrow. Not bad at all for school, starting off around 60, around 87 by the time you head home.